Hi guys. Don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm still completely awkward at talking and showing my face on the camera, but oh well. Um, you've got to start somewhere and I thought I would do a little video today because it's actually a really exciting day for me. Um, I have, I have, what does I sound like? I've got a new phone and I haven't had a new phone since I was about um, 17. I'm 24 now. Was I 17? Could have been a little bit older, I'm not sure. But I haven't had a new phone in a long... Actually, what am I talking about? Scrap that. I was about 20. But that phone didn't last me very long. I'll get more into that later. Um, but I... Anyway, I've not had the excitement of having a new phone in a very long time. I have finally upgraded from my 5S. Um, here he is. Um, He's had a long life. He has had a very good long life. And honestly, he's I think he's upgraded to the latest software still. And he's still working okay. He's just a little bit slow. He crashes sometimes. His screen is tiny. And the main problem is his camera is awful. So bye, little guy. You, you are not dying yet. I'm passing him on to my brother. So he will continue to live. But I've decided to upgrade to the iPhone XR. Now... Before people shout at me, I know there's some controversy about this phone, but at the end of the day, a phone is a phone, and if a phone does what you want it to do, then and it's good for you, then it's good. And I'm allowed to be excited about it. I know that there's so much on the internet. I did I always research before I buy something, so I know there's people that really don't like this phone. But honestly, I don't care. It does everything I need it to do. I was the phone I was gonna get otherwise was gonna be the 7 Plus. Um, and then I briefly considered the 8 Plus, but it was just out of my budget, and it's still out of my budget, because it's still more expensive than this one, um, from what I could find anyway. Um, I could never consider the X, or the XS, or the XS Max, definitely not the X, them ones, um, but even the X was completely out of my budget, it's still considerably more expensive than this one. I'll kind of get into the prices, what I'm paying, and what my contract is later on in the video, but just a little brief, um, thing saying don't hate me <laughs> because I like this phone I'm allowed to like the phone that I have spent my money on but there we go um okay let's get back into the video I'm gonna open this beauty and I oh I can't even it's so silly because it, I know it's only a phone but I'm so excited like I said I haven't had a new phone in so long and this phone is massive compared to my 5s massive part of the reason I got it was the size and the camera is so much better and I can do portrait mode I've never had the joys of portrait mode so everything is new to me the face ID is new the portrait mode the screen size the everything like I I feel like this is a really big upgrade for me and I'm very excited for it so yeah let's get on with the video and let's open this up I was so excited when I got the delivery so I'm so excited to open this bag Okay, let's go. So, here's my little bit of paper, my SIM card, and my phone. I'm so excited. This is beautiful. Honestly, I'm not sure if the size on the box is the size of the phone. I have seen this phone though, and I do know it's bigger, but look at that. Look at that screen difference. Oh, this is going to take some serious getting used to. I hope I don't drop it. And I do have a case coming, but it's not... I bought it on Amazon. I don't know when the case is going to arrive, but I can't wait for the case. Um, well, I could, but I'm not going to. I'm going to open it. Yeah, it's massive. Here's the ginormous box, and then, if I can open it, um, designed by Apple in California, there's the phone! So what's in this bit first? So we've got the, um, the hello, so I've got the little hello sticker, the hello stickers, hello thing, and then I've got the, um, little thing to open it with and then I've got the good old um, the good old Apple stickers which I'm pretty sure I've never used and ugh, imagine if I dropped it classic oh my gosh it's so pretty it's 
so pretty. It's massive. It is massive. It's so much bigger than my other one. There we go. So it is actually the size on the box, I think. Yeah. That's probably blurry, but it is actually the size on the box. I got the white one um, because I don't own many colourful things, so I figured it would be silly to get a um, colourful iPhone. But then in retrospect, I have actually bought a black case, so I'm an idiot. But anyway, it's white. It will be hidden under black, but it is white, um, which I think is really pretty, actually. I like it a lot. Um, oh my goodness. Can I, can I turn it on or do I need the SIM card in first? I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna leave the phone there for a second, and then in the box I also have. So in the box I also have the um, headphones, um, which unfortunately are the wired ones. I, I knew they weren't gonna be the AirPods, but I couldn't see the wire for a second. Um, but I knew they were gonna be those ones. I've got the charger, and I've got the um, the charger. It looks maybe different than some other ones on the internet because I'm in England so our charges are different um yeah oh oh I'm so excited I feel like a child on Christmas morning um this is effectively my Christmas present to myself so kind of is like Christmas morning to me um except I never got presents like this on Christmas this is the case I decided to get and I'm this is like filmed a little bit later because it took a while to come but it's the Griffin Survivor. It is a little bit chunky but I'm someone that doesn't really care about like super sleek thinness and it's really protective because I dropped my old phone in it quite a lot and it didn't break and this is my screen protector which is the all the glass one that covers the whole thing so it has like the outline on it too and it covers the whole thing just because I heard that because the screen is slightly rounded yeah it doesn't you kind of need it to do that because otherwise the gestures it will get annoying and it's great it didn't make any bubbles was super easy so would recommend and this is the phone like it is obviously chunkier than the phone actually is because i've put it in a big chunky case but you know i'd rather it be a bit more protected if i drop it than it looking how it did fresh out the box so it doesn't really matter to me and i also have a little pop socket on the back never used one before but my boyfriend's mum got one free from work and i love it i'm kind of addicted to pulling it in and out and playing around with it but it also is so good because the phone's quite big it makes it easy to hold and then i'm just flicking through and showing a few little apps i downloaded on it after i set up face id and all the exciting stuff so i've kind of got the normal ones like instagram facebook my email my twitter just the things that i kind of immediately set up maybe like in another video i'll show what's on there who knows but yeah yeah the pop socket does make it a lot hold okay mine ex excuse my dressing gown but the pop socket does make it so much easier to hold on to the phone is way too big for my tiny hands and yeah i'm would probably drop it if it wasn't for that helps it stand up as well so i kind of like watching youtube on my phone sometimes and the little stand is helpful so i realized i forgot to film an ending to this video and this was very different and a bit of a spur of the moment one for me i watched so many videos on phones and stuff before i decided to buy it so i thought it could be kind of interesting from my perspective i'm not a techie i don't know that much i guess i'm just a normal user who doesn't buy a phone that often and yeah I don't know um if you did find this interesting please leave it a like and if you're interested in these kind of videos any more videos on this anything like this please leave it in the comments and if you like videos on illustration creativity um all of that malarkey then please follow honestly it means so much to me every time I get a new subscriber so that would be amazing and I don't know what else to say like I said this was probably very awkward so about that so yeah bye guys